This garden may appear to be a wildly overgrown jungle of weeds and plants, but it is in fact far from that. It's registered and recognised by the Royal Society for Nature Conservation as an important piece of land environmentally. It's what horticulturalists term a wildlife garden and nestles at the back of this suburban house in Sleepside Stevenage, the creation of gardening journalist Pete Perry. But while environmentalists may approve of it, some neighbours don't and have complained to the Borough Council who've told Mr Perry he must now keep the garden in good order. It's prompted this reaction. I am a professional horticulturist for about 30 years now, I've trained in it, and um, I just find it insulting to tell me, who's trained in horticulture, that my garden's overgrown. Mr Perry says it's a haven for wildlife, frogs and newts living alongside a number of species of butterfly. Rare plants and mosses also thrive, some of which are fast disappearing elsewhere in Britain. Well, there's a lot of rare wild plants. Um, interestingly enough, this plant we're looking at here is the Oxlip Primula Latior, which only grows in five woods in East Anglia. Nevertheless, the council says it's received several complaints and will now have to look at Mr Perry's garden and assess whether action needs to be taken. In a written statement released this afternoon, it said it hoped all parties would be satisfied. But Mr Perry, who spent 13 years developing the garden, says he doesn't intend to change it. He says his trees and plants are helping the local environment by filling the air with oxygen, while the many cars in the area continually contaminate the atmosphere with deadly carbon monoxide. He claims his small oak tree provides enough oxygen for two people to survive on, while one car burns the oxygen consumption of a thousand people. He has this message for those unhappy with him. It has been proved that car exhaust fumes make people grumpy. So maybe the council, maybe the neighbours that have complained are being affected by carbon monoxide and lead in the car fumes, yeah? Possibly. I'm a happy man. Most gardeners are happy men because they work with nature and they get their full fill of oxygen in the air.